And it turns out that there are individual things in food. The famous one is fructose, but there are others, lectins and others, that actually inhibit the mitochondrial generation of ATP. So they actually inhibit your ability to turn food energy into chemical energy. If that's the case, even if they have calories per gram in a bomb calorimeter, if they're interfering with mitochondrial function, are they food? What is the definition of food? Substrate that contributes either to growth or burning of an organism. Well, I just told you, fructose actually inhibits burning. Turns out, fructose also inhibits growth. It inhibits cortical bone growth, trabecular bone growth, cancellous bone growth. Bottom line, people who eat ultra-processed food end up shorter. We have the data for that. So if a substrate that passes your lips does not contribute to growth and does not contribute to burning, is it a food? I guess not. I guess not. What is it then? It's a poison. And how much of our diet do you think is poison? I think about Ultra processed food is loaded with them. Real food is not loaded with them. You can still find them, but not loaded with them. Ultra processed food has, in my opinion, okay, five things wrong with it. Too much sugar, which poisons your mitochondria. Not enough fiber, which is necessary to suppress inflammation 